Hey guys, Woo's the Collector here, coming in from the planet Woo's, where aliens can be lurking around any corner. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, long work week this week, a long, couple long nights, uh, crazy week, so it was hard to get anything done again. Um, hopefully episode 102 will be out today, followed by this episode of the Collector's Geeks and Freaks show, episode 103. Um, long work week, but Friday... It got better. I wasn't expecting much on the weekend, but a gentleman who um, befriended me on Facebook was reaching out to me and we chatted. He's asking about the show. Um, this is the man who runs Hobby DB, my favorite, all time favorite collection database software right online. And um, we got to talking. And he, I told him I was a shareholder and I just signed up for premium. He said, oh, let's make you a squad member. Um, so I'm going to join the HobbyDB squad and I'm going to be able to add to the database and help build the database for the company that I bought some chairs in. Um, he showed me how to buff up my showcase, put the show on there, um, throw some details in, gave me instructions on so I can know how to add to the database. So for a long week, week this turned out to be a uh, beginning of a good weekend. Busy weekend, but still a good weekend. Um, I was uh, overjoyed, I guess. Um, man, you know, guys know this is one of my passions. So when somebody else reaches out to you and he's the guy who runs the company uh, that you collection software on and takes an interest in you, I, I was appreciated. Great appreciated. Thank you very much, Christian. Um, he's going to let me do an interview with him too. Um, so we're going to set that up one um, week. I'm real excited about that. So I got to get some questions going for him because I found out too, as we chatted further on on Friday night, he tried to buy Dash, the collection software I was using before that I've mentioned in a few episodes that just prepped out and shut down the site, whole site shut down. And like, I think I backed up my, my database maybe once or twice but I think I wiped the hard drives or something from there because I can't find it. I was so upset. There was so much work. I pretty much single-handedly built the Funko section for them of the Pops and stuff. And they gave me the lifetime membership. And it had happened a couple times before where I don't think they renewed the website or whatever, the certificates. And there would be a few days where the site would be down. But then it would be back up. And I should have known. But... Lesson learned. That's why I back up things on a spreadsheet now and a couple other different programs. So, but HobbyDB is my main one. This has everything. Um, you can sell on it. You can you add your collection. They're building different parts of the collection. It's just great software. Um, web page. Check it out. Um, hopefully, I'll get some more. I did add some stuff to my catalog today he got me so excited so that was a that was a start of my weekend so thank you christian very much i greatly appreciate it and thanks for having me join the squad and all the help you've been giving me and i look forward to interviewing you so i gotta come up with some good questions so this week aliens romulus came out alien romulus um, this takes place and it kind of screws me up because alien and then i hear romulus i'm thinking about star trek um but this takes place four years after the first movie, Alien. Um, it wasn't entirely bad. It wasn't the worst Alien movie, but by far it wasn't the best. Um, it was better than Resurrection, but it showed a lot of similarities to me to Resurrection and Prometheus. Um, which to me are like two of the worst movies out of the franchise. Um, they stole some one-liners that made me giggle from alien and, um, Aliens, um, but that's kind of like rehashing things instead of coming up with your own, um, you know, one-liners or stuff that remember make a movie rememberable. Um, the young cast, they were good. I didn't recognize anybody, um, but I enjoyed all their performances, so they were good actors. Um, the effects and the aliens and the face huggers and the story had a good premise, but it, it just toward the end, it, it, it didn't end well for me. I wasn't happy with the ending. 
Um, they could have done so much better with this if they just tweaked the story and dropped out the 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 references and the similarities to those other two movies, and it would have been so much better. That's just my opinion. I did see it XD at Cinemark right here in North Haven, Connecticut. Um, I like seeing the big stuff on screen. Um, the Crow comes out next week. Now, I know I'm not going to like it because there's no other Crow but Brendan Lee. Um, I, I will check it out in the movies only if it's an XD. And I don't think it's going to be an XD, so I don't think I'm going to see that one in the movies. We do have tickets for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice um, coming up in September. So um, there's some other movies coming out, probably going to go see um, as they come out. Uh, over on the small screen, uh, me and Lady Woos have been watching season three of The Bear, I believe it is. We're on the final episode um, this season. Yeah, it's three. Um bounced around too much in time and kind of screwed me up a little bit but you know I'm watching this stuff after I'm winding down from uh, <laughs> running my own company well the cousin company I run for 24 hour service to repair gas stations so it was a pretty busy week this week so I was just trying to wind down and maybe things don't sit well with the TV at night because you know how your mind goes but yeah there was too much time jumping in that um I did complete Iron Fist Season 1, so that means I've watched um, on my rewatch of, and new watch, because I didn't watch all seasons. I've watched Season 1 and 2 of Daredevil, Season 1 of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, and now Iron Fist. So Defenders is a mini series, uh, limited series, eight, eight episodes, and that's what I'm watching next, because that's what the list says. So that's what I'll be getting on there, and then after we're done with the beer... I'm going to finally watch the final season of Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, I know. I say I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, and I'm quite, quite behind. <laughs> it happens. Life happens. So, um, did do some brick-and-mortar shopping. Had to use my GameStop $5 coupon, and GameStop was doing a buy one, get one free for clearance. So, these two were around... Um, 22 bucks. There are two packs um, of the Funko Pop Game Pop exclusives. This one's Jar Jar Binks versus Grievous. Um, I don't remember the episode that's from, but I, I kind of do. But it's Grievous, so I had to get Grievous. So I got this one. And then I picked up another Star Wars 2 pack, and this is Darth Maul and pre visa um, this is also from the Clone Wars, um, of course it's Darth Maul, so I had to pick it up. So both of these together with the $5 coupon came to, um, after taxes, like 18 and change. So not a, not a bad pickup, so that's about 9 bucks and change a piece for those. So those were originally, I think, $24.99. Um, don't have any other pre pre-orders, I got a couple for... Punk Funko Pops pre-orders. Um, Terrificon was this weekend up at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, and it just wasn't in the cards. I have some news to share about that because we allocated some funds to something else a little funner, but we'll save that for next week. I did get a 42 book um, Midtown comic pre-order in, so I I gotta guys show you that. Of course, I already opened the box. I unwrapped it because, like I said, Midtown Comics never <laughs> ceases to amaze me with their packing. I've never really got anything damaged because of shipping or mispacking. Um, I think I got a one that was teared inside or once, and then they let me keep the teared one and either gave me a credit or sent me a new one. I can't remember, but they're always good like that. And I just did another pre-order today, and I screwed up. And um, I, instead of uh, cover A, I got a cover D, which is signed by somebody. So it was like 30 bucks. I, so I already sent my email to them. Can you just credit my account? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll, I'll pick that up somewhere else along the line. So, yeah. That and with some... Um, I changed out some lights over here. And I did my greatest impression of... Eric Foreman's father, Red Foreman, 
from that 70s call and called myself a dumbass. I was putting, changing out some lights under here and yeah, this is where my, some of my backlog is. Yeah, you can only see you know, This is more than a dumbass story. And of course, it's one of the newer hard covers. Oh, I drilled through the cover a little. What a dumbass. Okay, so let's get to some comics. You see, I'm just an average idiot sometimes, too. Normally, I don't do stuff like that because I take precautions, but I was trying to be quick. It's already late today as it is as I'm filming, so that's what I get for being a dumbass and Russian. Well, not Russian, I'm Polish. Um, so this week, I put them all in order, so I'm going to flip them and show them. I've got probably bring them both out at the same time i've got amazing spider-man um the latest ones that just came out um so i'm a little behind on these because i still i'm waiting to read bloodline i've got the next army of darkness forever which i've enjoyed this series um ash in the future we've got avengers and i gotta find out what Weapon X Extraction is, I guess that's a small story or a limited story running through some of the comics in Marvel. So I got to see, it looks like there's a few of them that I already um, get, but I'm trying to find a way to make these not fall too bad. Thanks. Um, Black Widow Venomous. I think this is either one shot or a minute series. There goes the Booze Hounds. Maybe alerting any of the aliens out there. Um, Blood Hunt 5. So this is going to keep me a little behind until I get all this to catch up on some of my other Marvel. Yeah, I'll probably be reading this stuff like next year after everybody else has read it with my the rate I go. Blood Hunters um, came off of a spin spinoff from uh, the Blood Hunt. Or the... Oh my goodness. Yeah, Blood Hunt, right? Yeah, Blood Hunt. So that's going to be a new series. And I guess uh, DC heard Marvel put out Vampire, so they had to come out with another uh, DC vs. Venom, uh, Vampire's Venom. That would be kind of cool, DC vs. Venom. Um, War War V, which is a ripoff from another comic that had the title War War V from the way I look at it. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, War War Three. If you haven't seen Deadpool and Wolverine yet in the theaters, go see it! Top rated R rated movie forever. Oh, here's another weapon extraction one, and luckily it was a blood hunt tie in, so I got this issue of the Fantastic Four. Geiger is a new character, as I almost cut my nose. Um, in the image um, universe, they, they created a new universe within it. It's kind of. I don't really care for too many of the other characters, but Geiger, he loses the dog. Somebody killed that dog. That man's going to go kill that. Because that's what guys do. They look at John Wick. I would do that if somebody hurt the, the lady woozers. Yeah, they never find you, man. Uh, Hel Helverine. And now I found out where he came from. That missing issue of uh, that I needed to read the uh, Ghost Rider and Wolverine story that I was so far behind on. That's why I couldn't get that book because it sold out. Because it was the first appearance of Helverine. Wolverine 4, got the Incredible Hulk 15, um, a little up to date, looks like we got a new storyline, or he's still doing the monsters, and then I think he's in Blood Hunt, you know, before Zod, this is a new story running through DC, excuse me, my throat's getting dry, iced tea, Lipton iced tea with a little bit of sugar, just like grandma used to make. Marvel Zero. Midnight Sun's Blood Hunt. Moonlight. Moonlight. Not Moonlight. Um, Blood Hunt. So I'm going to put all those in order. Of course, have to read them in order. Because that's how I know I am. That's the OCD in me. Uh, Miss Marvel Annual. The Infinity Watch. That's the one I bought uh, 
Spider Boy annual, the wrong one. So I got to get that so I can read, see the read the whole story of the Infinity Watch. Space Ghosts. I did read the first issue and I enjoyed it. They came out with uh, Johnny Quest. I was on the fence. I was more always a Space Ghost um, fan. Um, Love the Herculoids. Except. Spectacular Spider-Man, I started to read. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to stop because i got to put it aside to read the Wolverine extraction thing. we got um, Spider-Boy number 10, Spider-Boy versus the Spider-Verse. keep going out of camera, so I'm going to grab the rest of these because there's not too many of them. Oh, the camera. I be more tech savvy and get more into it, but so little time. So, so little time. Oh boy. So we got uh, Spider Man Black Suit and Blood, number one. This is a limited series. Spider Man Rain, number two. That's a limited series. Spider-Man Shadow of the Green Goblin. Uh, new, new series, Spider Society Enters the Spider-Verse. Love the Spider-Verse. Darth Maul Black and White. This is the last one of these. These are just uh, small black, red, and white stories um, with Maul. Little, little stories, you know, like three stories in a book. So far behind Star Wars Darth Vader. We got two more. <laughs> you know, we got two more now. Yeah, we'll catch up to these eventually. Uh, Star Wars Inquisitor is a new series I started collecting but had not have read. Blood, Blood Hunt Strange Academy. That's um, part of that. The Blood Hunt story. Uh, Thundercats Tara. That Captain Kirk thing in me, you know. Um, Transformers. This is 11. I'm going to stop at 12. I haven't enjoyed that story too much. Uh, yes, Universal Monsters, Creature of the Black Lagoon lives. Um, Frankenstein's next. I just got him on pre order. And Dracula hardcover is the one I plan to release. It's not. The number one, the original comics. So I'd probably be more upset if they were. Um, trade paperbacks don't usually go up too much in value. Not that the comics are any more anyway. I more read them, I and eventually I'm I'm gonna have to sell. There's just way way too much. But like I said, the dream is someday to start hitting cons and start setting up tables and unloading some of this large collection. And hopefully I'll be able to enter it all in one day before I retire. But probably not. That'll be do what I'll be doing for retirement too. Um, Venom, Separation Anxiety. That is a limited series. We got the start of another one. Venom vs. Reborn. Haven't watched that. Haven't read that. Venom War tie-in in the normal Venom series. This I'm looking forward to. We got Venom War number one. Venom War Spider-Man. And uh, a tie-in from Wolverine Blood Hunt. I got the Wolverine annual because of the Infinity Watch. And last but not least, another short um, limited series Wolverine Deep Cut. So, yeah. Wow lot this week huh well i'm gonna get going it's late i gotta still write my description up for episode 102 and hopefully edit this one and it looks like i might have some work to do so i'm gonna go so thanks for watching thanks for listening to this old guy with long hair old metal guy who just rambles and rambles on i appreciate it if you enjoyed the show um like subscribe on youtube you can follow me on facebook or um not twitter the other one 
TikTok. Um, yeah. And always, always, if you get a chance, check out my Hobby DB Showcase. It's going to be even better now as I add to it and I contribute to the Hobby D database to grow, grow, and grow. It's a great opportunity for any collector. They'll probably add more stuff. They're adding it. It, it, it can go anywhere from, from here. Um, so many users on there all, already and you can sell on it. It's great. So check it out. It's free to join. Premium, um, I believe, if you're not a stockholder, is like 30 or Yeah, I think it was $30. And I, I paid $22 because I was a stockholder on the first one for the first year. So that's not bad to get no ads. Uh, live updates on your showcase. Um, all your collectibles shows you your up and down prices. If you made money from when you collect it it's great so check it out all right guys until next time this is woos the collector on the planet woos